And now, tonight's presentation of radio's outstanding theater of thrills, Suspense. Tonight, the story of tension and danger in a small inn on the avalanche-swept slopes of the Alps. We call it Premonition. So now, starring Lawrence Dobkin with Charlotte Lawrence, here is tonight's suspense play, Premonition. Tony, be careful. Tony! Yeah. Okay, okay. Oh, this is awful. I can't even see the road. We shouldn't have tried it. We should have gone the other way. Oh, that's 200 miles farther. You were the one in a hurry. You wanted Christmas in Paris, remember? Well, one day more wouldn't have mattered. We didn't have to be pioneers and cross the Alps in a blizzard. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. It's all my fault. Oh, I'm frozen. Didn't you say there was supposed to be an inn along here somewhere? Yeah, about halfway up the pass. We should reach it soon. Oh, let's stop there. This is awful. Well, we're doing all right. Another two hours, we're going to be over the pass. Tony, look out! Oh. Great. Come on. Are we stuck? Couldn't be more. What are we going to do? Well, if it weren't snowing, we could admire the view. People come from all over the world to see the Alps. Well, there they are, right outside the windows. Front, back, on both sides, and straight up. Oh, Tony, we can't just sit here and freeze to death. Any suggestions? Darling, I'm scared. Oh, I'm sorry. We'll be all right. We'll get out of it. If only we could get to that inn... Can you see it? No, can't see anything. Snow's like a curtain. Oh, wait a minute. Well? No. But it shouldn't be too far up the road. You wait here. I'll go on and see if I can get someone to pull us out. Oh, wait. I'm going too. You'll get soaked. Well, I'm not going to stay here alone. It may take hours and I want to get warm. Suit yourself. Mm. Huh? Help me. Oh, here. Uh, well, step uh, in my tracks. Oh, it's so deep. Told you you'd get soaked. Now pick up your feet. Well, don't take such big steps. Oh! Uh, 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 take it easy. That's just a few more steps now. Huh? Now, up. Okay. Oh, Oh, thank goodness they've swept the stairs. Oh, I'm soaked. It's funny. What's funny? The air. Well, all that snow, but right here, it, it, it's quiet. No wind. Not even very cold, almost warm. Oh, I'm not warm. There's a fire inside. Come on. Okay. Oh, I understand why they build these mountainside places on stilts. They'd be buried otherwise. You know, it's odd. What's odd? I've got a funny feeling. This, the... There's something oppressive here, Gwen. I don't know, maybe the mountains all around are shutting out the sky. <laughs> and you're the one who always loved them so. Now you know how I've been feeling all these months. Yeah. Don't know what it is. Just a feeling. I, 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 I suppose you'd call it a premonition. A premonition? About what? Well, I... I, oh, I know this sounds silly. I don't like this place. Well, I do. It looks wonderful to me and a lot warmer inside. No, I know. It's not that. It... Oh, I can't explain oh, it. Oh, Tony, stop being a writer. Come on, I'm freezing and I want to get out of these wet things. Are you coming? Yeah, sure, sure. Oh, that fire looks wonderful. Willkommen, Sie herein. Guten Tag, mein Herr. Guten Tag, Nadia Frau. Willkommen. Ja, guten Tag. 
Mein Wagen ist kaputt. Ich äh, brauche Hilfe. Aber jawohl. Verzeihen Sie, Sie sind Amerikaner, nicht wahr? <laughs> My accent still doesn't fool anyone, I guess. Oh, nein, you speak well, mein Herr. It is more the close that speaks of the wealthy Americana. I'm Herr Landig, and I'm most happy to serve you. Well, you don't know how happy we are to get uh, here. Look, Herr Landig, uh, we're stalled in the snow right down the road now. Is there anyone here who can help pull us out? Ich weiß nicht. There is a Swiss gentleman with an auto who has only just arrived also. And a French family. Uh-huh. It could be arranged, vielleicht, but... Uh, uh, well, but what? Oh, I'll pay, of course. Oh, nein, nein, nein. Nein, auf keinen Fall. Uh, you mean you don't think we should try to go on? Uh, no, I would not advise it. It is not for the money, mein Herr, I assure you. But such a storm. Honey, I want to go on if we can. How long will this last? Ich weiß nicht. Perhaps another day, perhaps more. Then the road must be cleared. Herr Brown, the Swiss gentleman, says it's very bad on the Swiss side. Tony. Okay, okay. Uh, haben Sie ein Zimmer für two? Aber selbstverständlich, uh, mein Herr. Ja, yeah, I will show you. And then the other guests are prepared to eat. You will join us, yeah? Oh, yes, I'm starved. Yeah, I understand. Come. <laughs> Du veux, Madame Rouge? Non, merci. Well, Herr Christopher, one does not expect to meet Americans in such a place at such a time. You know, it is not the season for tourists, n'est-ce pas? Well, we're not exactly tourists, Monsieur Rouge. Been living in Austria a year now. My husband is writing a book. Oh, never mind the publicity, Gwen. Nobody's interested. On the contrary, mein Herr. An author, yeah? And you write a book about Austria? Not about Austria, just... Uh, Just in Austria. Ach so. You came here for inspiration, yeah? To the land of beauty and great art. Uh, and cheap rent. <laughs> It's a great country, Helander, but for a writer, I'm afraid the rate of exchange decided the issue. Oh, true, Herr Christopher. As a Swiss, I also find Austrian prices attractive. And now you are going back to America? Oh, no, no. Just to Paris for Christmas. Such a lovely time of year for traveling. Oh, oh Tony... <laughs> Uh, we must not forget the radio. There may be new reports. Reports? Of, of the storm, monsieur. Oh. Very bad. Yes, I can see that. Avalanches, mein Herr. Two villages in the Valsa Valley completely destroyed. Many dead. Three killed just across the pass this morning. Oh, isn't that awful? I'm so glad we didn't try to go on. Yeah, that would have been unwise. Uh, darf ich Ihnen noch etwas anbieten, Madame Christopher? Oh, thank you. I'm a pig, but I don't care. They're so good. Uh, Herr Christopher, um, what do you think of the Russian intentions in uh, Austria? Hmm? Uh, Herr Christopher. Yes? Oh, I'm sorry, what? Darling, what? why so preoccupied? We haven't touched your lunch. Oh, sorry. I, I guess I'm just not hungry. Oh. <laughs> I'm afraid my husband is in a mood. It's really quite amusing... You see, he has some well, sort of a, a premonition. A premonition? Uh, yes, you know. A, a funny feeling that something terrible is going to happen. Oh, Gwen. A foreboding, nicht wahr? Uh, yes. He got it the minute he saw this place. Didn't even want to come in here. Isn't that silly? <laughs> oh, mon Dieu, Maurice. Florian, calme-toi. Je ne sais pas ce qu'il dit. Mais moi, je le sens. Je t'assure qu'il y a du danger. Il faut partir immédiatement. Et toi, Florian, nous ne sommes pas en danger Ne le crois pas, nous. Oh, Madame Rouge, I assure you, there is no danger. This place is absolutely safe. You need not be concerned. Oh, but I'm terribly sorry. I, I had no idea. I, I didn't mean to upset anyone. I... Uh, my, my wife is easily frightened, Madame. Uh, uh, perhaps you will excuse us. Oh, please, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean it. It was really a joke. Oh, I darling, thought... darling, never mind. May I assist you, Monsieur Roux? No, no, no. We go to our room. Uh, it will pass. Uh, bien, Florian. Mon Dieu, il faut partir. Je Alors, sens il y a du danger, Marie. Oh, Tony, I'm so ashamed. I didn't think... Well, take it easy, honey. Oh, don't be upset, madame. That one is an hysteric. But I meant it as a joke. Well, it's not a joke, Gwen. Three people killed this morning. Two villages nearby wiped out. Well, I... I just didn't suppose there was any danger... Here. And there probably is not, Gnedige Frau, unless, unless your husband's premonition is correct. Oh, but that's such a crazy idea. He doesn't really believe in such things. Don't you, Herr Christopher? I don't know. Oh, Tony. After all, Frau Christopher, 
There is nothing so strange about your husband's premonition, nothing occult or supernatural. It can be explained quite realistically. How? Well, you are a writer, trained to a special sensitivity. You sense the danger, though you cannot read the signs. What signs, for instance? It has been snowing for days. An unusual mass lies on every slope. And it has been, and still is, unseasonably warm. That means the snow is extra heavy, extra wet. There may even be subsurface melting. Such unstable conditions are explosive. Danger hangs on every mountain, all through the Alps. Uh, even here? No, not here. I assure you, Herr Christopher and Herr Brown, this inn is safe. We have never had an avalanche here. You see, Tony? Never yet. Eh, Fernandez? Dead in Austria, 43 in the Schweiz. In Switzerland, 143. American and Swiss helicopters bring medical relief. The danger is not ended. Snow falls in many parts of the Alps. All people on the steep places evacuate. More at two o'clock. Ah, it's tricky, tricky. Yeah, at this rate, we cannot go on for days. Our misfortune, your fortune, Herr Lande. I would rather not earn my fortune this way. I'm sorry for you all. Yeah, I will try a stein of your beer, Herr Lande. Yeah, yeah, I'll bring it sofort. Tony, hmm? come on and join us. Don't just sit here staring out the window. Gwen. Look, it stopped snowing. And the sun's trying to break through. Look, everybody, it stopped snowing. Yes, I noticed, uh, Madame Christopher. Well... Isn't that a good sign? Not necessarily. There's snow enough already. And if the sun causes melting... Yeah. Oh, I see. I don't like it. Oppressive. Too quiet. The light. The whole thing. Well, would anybody care for a game of cards? Uh, we... Anything to pass the time. Look, Gwen, let's go, huh? They'll help us get the car out. But... Tony, it would be more dangerous out there. Well, it's here that worries me. I know, but it... All right, all right, skip it. Tony, please, I only want to do... Wait a minute, listen. What is it? Look, out the window. Tony! Oh, my God, that's... That's what's soon Yeah, I have never seen one like that. whole slope across the valley came down. Look, it's almost filled that canyon. If anything had been in front of it. I tell you, over there, yeah, there have been avalanches before, but not here, not on this side. It is because up there, there is, uh, how you say, an, an a shale. Yeah, a bowl or basin. Yeah, and this catches all of the snow from above. You can see it. And behind the inn, you will see trees, tall trees, which have been growing there for 50 years. They have never been touched. Go. Go and see for yourself, Herr Christopher. Satisfy yourself. Well, what do you think, Herr Brown? Yeah. Ordinarily, Herr Landek would be right. Yeah, only you said these are extraordinary conditions. Exactly. There is perhaps more snow up there than ever before. Oh. If that mass should start to slide, it would go faster and farther than ever before. If it should fill up and overflow that basin... Well, what about the trees? Wouldn't they stop it? Mein Herr, they would be as matchsticks. And this building, the matchbox. Well, then why do we stay here? Because there is no more danger here than anywhere else. And perhaps there is less. Yes, of course. Well, we may as well get back. Yeah. Hey, look. Well, that's an American army jeep. So, if we are to die, it 
Maxime Street brings us another victim. Hey, hello. Oh, greetings, Sergeant. Greetings. What are you doing way up here? I wish I knew, Mike. How about you? Oh, we got stuck coming through. Well, you're stuck, mister. You ain't going any further over the pass. It's bad? Everything's breaking loose. One of them almost got me. Blocked the pass right behind me. Hey, you got something hot to drink in this place? Oh, sure, sure. You going on down the valley? I'm going clear to headquarters at Salzburg if I can get through. Courier, logistic command. Listen, will you pull me out with your jeep and then I can follow you back down? Well, sure, Mac, I'll try. But let me get something hot first. Oh, huh? sure, all right. But I'll be ready. Roger. Man, what a trip. Well, Christopher, it seems you will be able to go on after all. Yeah, Brown, we all could go. Because two more could easily get into our car and two can ride in the jeep. Yeah, that is true, but... Oh, but you won't, will you? Everybody thinks my, my my premonition is nonsense. No, except perhaps you, Herr Brown. But you're a philosopher. If it's your time to die, so be it. But you'll wait for death to come to you. You won't run out to meet it. True. All true, Herr Christopher. Yeah, yeah. Well, I can't decide your fate for you, much as I might like to. Every man must do that for himself. One more good pull should do it, Sergeant. But take it easy and watch that bank. Give it a little more left wheel, right? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Careful! Sante, look out! Oh, no. oh. Sergeant? Sergeant, you, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. Just give me a hand. Let me oh, help sure. also, Sergeant. Okay, ready? Now, heave! Oh. Oh. Thanks. Are you hurt, Sergeant? No, ma'am, I'm okay. But we didn't do so good, did we? Instead of getting you out, I got myself in. It was most fortunate you did not go altogether over the what side. What do you think? Can we get that jeep out? Well, not without a ten-ton rig. She's stuck down there, but good. Guess you're right. Yeah, sorry, Mac. Personally, I don't give a stink. I wasn't anxious to drive all night anyway. Well, might as well get back to the fire. Nothing we can do here. It seems your fate is working against you, mein Herr. And perhaps for the best, Christopher. I suppose there's nothing to do now. You have but... skis that we could borrow or buy, haven't you, Herr Landek? Oh, nein, Christopher. I have skis, yeah, but you cannot think to do such a thing. It's too dangerous, even for expert skiers. And he's right, Mac. I wouldn't try. No, we, we could go slow and follow the road. You are that sure of your feeling, Herr Christopher? Yes. And you, Frau Christopher? Tony... Darling, I, I'm trying to be sensible. I was ready to go in the car. But, Gwen. But this... Well, surely we'd be safer here. Yeah, absolutely, my yeah, Don't Don't be a fool, Mac. Tony, please. Gwen. If there were any real reason... Oh, all right. All right, let's go back to the inn. Well, Christopher, will you join me? It is most comfortable here by the fire. Thank you, Herr Braun. Your husband, he is upstairs? In our room, writing. You know what he's writing? Oh, I can guess. Something about his premonition. Yes. Kind of scientific note, he calls it. He thinks it will make interesting reading if someone finds it afterwards. Oh, and so it will. Your husband is an extraordinary man, Gnetica Frau. A man of deep sympathy and understanding. I imagine he is a very fine writer. Yes. Yes, I think he is. Now, that is a rare and wonderful thing. I shall be most interested to read his book. It is finished? Not quite. He wanted to stay and finish, but... Oh, it's my fault we're going to Paris. My fault we're here. And that troubles you? Yes. Supposing he's right. His premonition. It would be a pity... For a man of such promise to die here, now, with his life and his work unrealized, wouldn't it? 
If you'll excuse me, Herr Braun, I'm going up and tell him we're leaving right away. Auf Wiedersehen, gnädige Frau. Auf Wiedersehen, Herr Christopher. Wiedersehen. Mit Gott. I think you're nuts to try it on skis. But good luck. I hope you make it. Thank you. Good luck to both of you. Well, send me a copy of the book when it is finished, yeah? You bet. Good luck to all of you. You'll be all right. I know you will. Goodbye. <laughs> Hmm? Tony, can we stop a minute now? Sure. Sure. You all right? Oh, fine. Tony, can can you see them still? No. No, just the building. They've all gone back inside anyway. Oh, it looks so quiet. So peaceful. I can't believe it. No, don't. It. Don't even think about it. They'll be all right. All right. Let's go on. Stay in my tracks. It'll be easier. All right. And don't worry, darling. Everything's going to be all right now. Ready? Yes, I... Okay. Tony. Huh? Tony! Tony! So, there's nothing we can do except go on down and, and tell somebody. Tell them what's happened. Suspense, in which Lawrence Dobkin starred as Tony with Charlotte Lawrence as Gwen. Next week, the story of the terrifying escape of a dying man. It's called Odd Man Out. That's next week on Suspense. Suspense is produced and directed by Anthony Ellis, with music composed by Lucian Morwick and conducted by Bernard Herman. Premonition was specially written for Suspense by John Dunkel. Featured in the cast were Edgar Barrier, John Daner, Fritz Feld, Joe Cranston, Nan Boardman, and Ben Wright. You hear America's favorite shows on the CBS Radio Network. <laughs>